well. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so this uh, today is, uh, is uh, Saturday. It is our yummy day. So we are going to share with you some of our favorite foods and then of course the nutrients that we can get from them. And other than that, uh, we are going to have also some food for thought from Thomas. Okay, so the first one, this is actually the favorite of Thomas. This one. So this is called tempeh ribs. It's mm -hmm. actually here, the tempeh ribs. There's some salad and some uh, sweet mashed potato there and tomato. Mm -hmm. And it has a really wonderful barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. So if you like barbecue sauce, you would really like this one. This is uh, probably the best one I've ever had. Take so. note, this is vegetarian, uh, vegan actually. Yes. So we have the tempeh, and, and this is uh, this one is sweet potato, right? You said, you said yes. it already. So, so this is a very gourmet vegan restaurant here mm -hmm. with a beautiful outdoor setting. There's a farmer's market next door, so we go here every Saturday morning to do our um, veggie shopping, and afterwards we come here. So it's yes. A, it's a very nice place. So then we also get a uh, little tiny appetizer for free. Yeah, this so is for free. What exactly is it? Um, it looks like it is sprouts. <laughs> sprouts and maybe some, maybe some like um, living cracker at the bottom and some mushroom mm -hmm. and lettuce on top. So we haven't tried any of this yet, but the tempeh ribs we've had many times before. This one mm -hmm. here, not. And then we have one one more dish that we ordered so far. Uh -huh. so, and wait, it is a called moment. Nazi Goreng Champur. So this is a subak. <laughs> Nasi Goreng Subak. Yeah, so this is a special uh, Indonesian dish that, uh -huh. that was turned uh, into a, a vegan version of it. Yes. So I think this one is just made of uh, mushroom. And this one. Uh, it's like the young jackfruit, actually, and this kind of like sprouts. And here you have the rice, and of course the veggies, the tomato, and then down there, kind of like uh, green peas with uh, besom flour. <laughs> and there's rice and vegetables and leafy yeah. greens in there, of course, too. Yeah. So this is really a great combination here of how to have a healthy but at the same time um, pleasurable meal you know we we went to another place a few weeks ago and the food was clean and healthy but no flavor no sauces it was very dry it was very difficult to eat it uh -huh. and, and this yeah and this one yeah before we forget Mama, yes, it's a hot uh, this chai one tea. is a hot chai tea it's with, with coconut milk yeah and yes, some coconut milk some really nice spices and uh, yeah usually the spices for chai are kind of like um of course the tea and then cinnamon. the milk the cinnamon the cardamom so those are our actually favorites and completely caffeine free of caffeine course caffeine free <laughs> so so that's really mm -hmm. it's really nice uh, so we all want to have a we all want to have good health yeah, good health is comprised of several components, um, physical, emotional, mentally, and spiritually. And so they're connected, of course. And it is really important that if we want to have a good outcome, a positive journey, that we try to develop as many healthy lifestyle choices and habits as we can. And at the same time, of course, we don't want to be like really dry and boring and just eat lettuce leaves all day long, right? We're, you know, we're, we're given these human bodies, we're not rabbits, yeah? So, so and we like, to, we like to have some nice flavors while it's healthy. So this is really an art. Cooking is really an art when you combine this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so, so this is really, it's really important, you know, that we, that we live in a way that is balanced, that we have always 
some healthy component and at the same time something that also warms our heart. And uh, we are fortunate, you know, that we have been in a location where this is relatively easy to do. Um, some of you might find it a little bit more difficult, but... But this one, for example, in any place in the tropical uh, places, tropics, <laughs> yes. uh, this, this is just a young jackfruit. And you can have, for example, in the Philippines, or even here where we are right now, uh, in every household there is always a jackfruit tree. So you will not get hungry. <laughs> it's very healthy, very nutritious. Yeah. And it's a really nice meat alternative. Mm -hmm. So it, it is, uh, you know, most people when they eat this, they won't miss anything. And mm -hmm. you can just have some really nice sauce with it and you won't mm -hmm. even barely notice the difference. You know, they even make like jackfruit steaks here and all kinds of things. It's uh -huh. really, it's really creative. So, so having a, a good diet is not actually boring and it's, it's not bland. <laughs> it could be as delicious as this one. And it's a really it's a really good good investment mm. in the long term future here. Sometimes we think about investments of only being financial. Mm -hmm. But actually health is the greatest wealth here. Yeah? Some people they can have especially now. <laughs> some people can have millions of dollars, but when their health deteriorates all the money in the world cannot save the body mm -hmm. yeah it's like when a person uh, for example he got all the money but he got also a cancer because of not having a good habit just thinking of money 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 profit 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 too much stress so too much yes. stress and everything and the cancer so it's like okay you can be because you got money you may have all the you can buy all the uh, medicines and everything but the quality of life will not be the same as when your body is really healthy. So that's a good thing. We really have to invest in our health. It will not be so expensive, actually. We, so, will, we will save a lot of money. Um, I rarely ever get sick. I rarely ever need to see a doctor, you know. And, and so this is a really, really nice, nice positive way of of living and uh, creating a better future for all of us on this planet and uh, so that the journey will actually be as good as it can be in this uh, complicated world. Yeah, well in terms of health, of just like anything else, we can just do the best that we can. <laughs> yeah, so we yes. may wait. It's kind of like we, get, we cannot be fanatics. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. we have to be this and that. And, oh, kind of. But at the same time, we really have to do our best to keep our body healthy. And of course, as Thomas said, it's not just the body that we should keep healthy, but our mind also. Yeah, Mental so aspect. it's the power of making good choices, mm -hmm. choosing better paths yeah. that will create Whoa. a better future, actually. Mm -hmm. So. And with that, we... Uh, and, of course, the spiritual aspect. <laughs> yes, of yes. course. We should, we should cultivate habits mm -hmm. that promote uh, selflessness, caring, loving, and not um, fall into this darkness where we become overwhelmed by all the negativity in this world, all the conflict, the anger, the envy, and... That will make that will just make us unhappy. Yep. So, of course, when we are having these blessings, uh, food, whatever it may be, could be a simple food. But we always have to pray first before partaking. So it's yeah. like uh, so we we always uh, should be grateful, grateful for what for what yeah. we have, and this will go a long ways so that we will actually become more satisfied in life. So thank okay, you so much. Thank you very much. We wish you well.